So, what's up? Welcome to the YouTube channel. Finally got this thing up and running. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this for a long time, so I'm really, really excited to finally get it rolling here. So I just kinda wanna take a minute and kinda talk to you guys about what I'm planning to do here, um, kinda what I want to have the channel be. The main thing I'm really going for with this is I want this to be kind of a documentation of my day-to-day -day life, my journey. So, you know, for the longest time I held off on doing YouTube because I really didn't feel like my life was that interesting. You know, I get here at eight in the morning, I leave at 10 o'clock at night, rinse and repeat usually. So, you know, I'd, I just held off forever. And then I started to think, you know, like I have all these people coming through, we're seeing cool cases, we're getting people better, and I wanted to start documenting that for you guys. So uh, between the mix of my vlogs, which I'll be doing here, letting you kind of into my life a bit, you know, you'll know, you get to see some of my patients, but then also some of the out of clinic stuff, if you're interested in that, um, some of how I'm training, what's going on there. Uh, and then you know, there's also just gonna be purely the clinical stuff, where you're gonna get to see me hands-on working with people. We're gonna take you from you know, the start of a session to the end of a session and kind of how that flows. So hopefully you maybe, if you're a therapist out there and you maybe pick up a tip on, you know, what we're doing, maybe how it could help one of your clients, you know, or if you're just struggling with something, maybe you'll be able to find a drill or an exercise that we use. And so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, very uh, good for some of you guys out there if you enjoy it. So, you know, but that's what I want it to be. I just want it to just basically be just a documentation of the day to day here. So um, for, you know, for the longest time, you know, I've just kind of been known as the movement mobility guy, especially because coming from Instagram, which has been my main platform, that's kind of what all I've ever put out. So that's kind of what everybody knows me as. So this is gonna get to, let you guys get to know me a little bit more. And I'm, I think that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be really excited for that. And uh, I'll keep this short. You know, I'm gonna dive right here into the vlog. I have a patient coming in. Uh, pretty quickly, we're gonna film his entire session. You're gonna get to see kind of what we're doing with him. He's a pretty cool case. He was uh, in a car accident, and ever since has just had some, had some pain in his upper back, and you'll get to see how he worked with that. And then I'll talk a little bit more afterwards. Um, then how the day's gonna go, we're going to, so we're gonna treat him. We're then going to probably, probably grab coffee, because mid-afternoon, I'm gonna need coffee. Um, and then paperwork, Instagram content and hopefully get a training session in before we leave. So busy, busy afternoon, but we're going to get it done. Um, hopefully be out of here by 10 o'clock tonight. That is the goal. So uh, patient looks like he's coming in now. So we're going to jump right into his session. See you guys there. So how's it been? Yeah. Good. yeah? Coming along? Yeah, it's coming along. Okay. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Sweet. So yeah, I made it up to. Uh, I was doing the RDLs. Yeah. Every day, basically, because it never was really a day where it hurt or anything like that. Okay, good. So I made it up to 185 on that. Okay. And that's fine, no pain. Good. Um, squats went pretty well. Uh, made it up to 265 on that. Okay. Um, and I was mostly doing sets of the because you said four to six. I yep. mostly was doing the six. Okay. A couple days, if I was a little tired, I only did four. Yep. But um. Uh, 265 was good, no pain, but uh, a little bit of pressure and then just uh, some tenderness the next day. But nothing anywhere close to the symptoms of before. Where nice. It'd be like just move and it would. Yeah. Like, I can still move around and it doesn't hurt or anything like that. Okay. So. Cool. All right. Um, when was that last workout? That last workout was uh, Friday. Was Friday. The last squat workout. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, let's have. Let's go through a little soft tissue work to get started today then, and then we'll get you under the bar and start looking at it. So still been just kind of right through here. Okay. Does it get more intense as I come towards the spine or? Basically right there. Right there. Take a breath in. All the way out. Again, breath in. And breath out. Man. 
Come on up. We're going to do a little thoracic mobilization work. Okay. Here, elbows on the bench. Back down like this. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go up through the mid back and then pull your chest through down like that, okay? Good. So we're trying to focus right up here into our spot, okay? Okay. So up and then pull down. Good. There we go. Up and then down. Good. Cool. Now hold that position. I want you to just lightly, kind of two, two, three out of ten, drive your elbows down into the bench. When we release, you're going to try and pull your chest through even further. So release and pull down into me. Sink. There you go. Actively pull. Activate these muscles right through here. So we might need to do a little just like thoracic movement work, make sure that we're keeping that mobile, um, that things aren't getting jammed up in there. Um, just do it kind of pre-training. Um, this is a good one because it's active, a little better than the passive laying over the roller, you yeah. know, letting the crack happen. But um, this will be a lot better because okay. you can just so actively, like before yeah, everything? before you actively, so you can actually move through. Okay. okay. All right, now let's get into the bar and see how it feels. Uh, squats? Yep, warm up, you, uh, you can get the shoes on, warm up the hips and all that stuff. Yeah, all the way through, even to the, even to the unrack. Yeah, that gets me out of breath though. Yeah. Yeah, even on the lighter sets. We're gonna hit fives today. Okay. And just see where we're at. Are we gonna bring in the belt at all or not? Yeah. If if we get to the point where we need it. Okay. Yeah. I tried to tell them that we on a new wave. And you should know, cause we do this every day. So wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, yeah. I tried to tell them that we on a new wave. And you should know, cause we do this every day. So wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, yeah. Lost this state complacent, they get locked inside my basement. I stay high up on these trees like hockey mask on face of Jason. I go in, who I'm facing, not gon' win. I stay laced on shots of gin. When I rain, it's not gon' end. So just watch as I begin my time. Nigga, this ain't even my prime. But it is my season, there's a reason you're yeah, having trouble reaching this high. Every time I breathe, I design a masterpiece or refine. I'm a on your, um, feast on a decent meal. It brings on your unrack. When you go into your unrack here, I want you to focus on letting the bar settle okay. there and then controlling the walkout. Okay. Okay. That way we're not shuffling along because what, what I'm seeing right now is you're kind of getting under here and you're getting here and you're just kind of going and it's kind of stumbling you a little bit. No, yeah, my walk is always horrible. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just try to make it nice and controlled. Yeah, super nice controlled. Let that bar settle. It'll it'll smooth out, and then you can kind of take that one, two, shuffle. Okay. okay. Ryan Doris calls it the uh, do do the moonwalk. All right. Let the bar settle. There you go. And now one, two, three, back one. There you go. Much better. Nice. How's that? Uh, they were all good except the very first rep. I think I got a little too loose. Okay. And that one twinged on the first rep, but then I tried to tighten even more. Yeah. And the rest were fine. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I think I dropped cool. in the hole a little bit too much. Okay. Not too much, but cool. not too quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So we have like we have the resiliency for it. We just got to make sure now it's a technical thing. Yeah. Yeah. Very much a technical thing. That's good. All right. 
I'm gonna let you do a triple at 315. One of these. Settle and out. All right. Nice. How was it? Besides me shifting in the rack, I mean, yeah. Uh, that last rep felt the best. Okay. The first one, a little. Yeah. I didn't let it settle. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the last one felt really good. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. I think that's a good a uh, that's a good spot to at set as a target okay. for our next two weeks. Okay. Um, what we can do is we can this time instead of just doing straight sets of four to six, what we can do is introduce a heavy day okay. once a week, so we can go like a light heavy. Okay. Uh, set up and start doing that and that'll uh, get us up there pushing some he pushing some of the heavier weights really focusing on that technique at higher percentages and yeah. all that stuff making get sure that, that back end gets yep heavier yep intensity in. so. cool so checked out all right so that was Colton um, his case is really really interesting so he was in a car accident like I kind of told you before and ever since he was in the accident, basically what he's had is he's had pain right about here, where his, um, right around his scapula, his shoulder blade. And what I'm thinking that it is, I'm thinking that he has sprained his costotransverse joint, which is basically where his rib meets his spine. If we grab our spine here, I'll show you. So basically this little area of the bone, you guys can see that right there. That's called your transverse process, and there's a rib. One of your ribs attaches to each one. So we think he may have sprained a ligament in there somewhere. And um, the thing is, is that it only bothers him whenever he squats and deadlifts heavy weights. And so the, the issue with that is that not many people know how to rehab that. You know, once you can bend and twist and move, you're kind of through the rehab process. So we're taking it from a training perspective in that you know, we need to adapt and strengthen those ligaments and those joints and make them more resilient again. And that's exactly what we're doing. That's exactly what you saw us do there is we just kind of work up, find a tolerance point, and then we've set him up with a good progression in his lifts in order to make that happen or to make that adaptation occur. And so that's kind of, that's kind of the basis of how I rehab is I'm looking for a way to create some type of adaptive process, build up resiliency. And so it's pretty cool, it's working. Um, last time he came to see me, he was only able to squat about 250 before pain set in. You saw today we got up to 315 pounds and that's in two weeks. So I'm really, really happy uh, with the progress that we've made. He's killing it and um, he's gonna, in another two, three, four weeks, whenever we see him again, it's uh, just gonna be better and better. So, you know, and a lot of you know and a lot of people wouldn't need that level of resiliency but he does because he wants to compete in powerlifting again you know he needs to be able to get up there and be able to squat and deadlift 500 pounds so he has to be able to have the his, his joints have to be able to hold that amount of weight they have to be able to take that amount of stress and so that's what we're doing for him we're just building him up slowly but surely so um, that's his case now we're about to we're going to bring out some paperwork for the afternoon First, coffee. Thank you for choosing service. What can we get for you? Hi, can we get a small sweet cream cold brew and a medium Americano? Did you want that hot or ice? Hot. And is that going to be all? That'll be it. 64, thank you. All right, thank you. you said cold brew? All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Enjoy. Have a great day. Okay, so it's about 6.30, got the coffee. Now we are having to go back to work and knock out some paperwork here for a little bit and then be able to get a workout in and hopefully get out of here before it's too late tonight.
All right, so it is about to be nine o'clock. So we're gonna try and get out of here before 10. We're gonna get this thing done right now. Monica is going to work out with me. So let's dive into it. Yeah. 